Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today I just wanted to talk to you about the soft power play tables or reg uh, registry edit registry hack, whatever you want to call it, um, and the performance I got with the RX 5700. I don't have the 5700 XT, but son of a tech was testing it out uh, probably around the same time I was when I first bumped into the article, and he does a really good job of breaking it down, doing the setup. Uh, how to install it, all that good stuff. I'll run through the basics, but if you really want to find out the full details, go check out his channel because um, he did a pretty good job of breaking it down for us. So basically, there's an article out there which I will also have linked in the description. I'm just going to steal it off of you real quick, son of a tech, if you don't mind. Uh, it is not an English version out there. Uh, I downloaded the the English version of it uh, in PDF format just to have permanently, just in case this went got taken down. I doubt it will, but uh, it runs you through all the basics and stuff like that uh, where you need to make the registry edit the 5700 and 5700 XT has a few uh, it's a zip file that you download and it has a different registries in there vanilla is the stock uh, I believe the secondary one right here is about 50% or this one's 50% and this one's the next tier up it increases your power limit and you're also your core clock now I'm not gonna mess with anything because while I was recording my my previous video it did crash on me even though this registry edit or hack uh, does allow you to push the limits of your card you gotta be careful I feel like my card has gotten the short end of the stick in a silicon lottery because anything above 900 megahertz on the memory even though this this hack will allow me to push a thousand it just crashes green screens what have you now AMD did release some uh, drivers um, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about this here in just a second. Did release some drivers, uh, I believe today, 19.7.2, uh, so definitely update to the latest drivers. But here you can see that the More Power Registry Edit uh, maxes out the core at 2100 megahertz, uh, the memory at 1000 uh, megahertz, and then you get a plus 50% power limit. Now, if you notice down here in MSI Afterburner, if I bump it all the way to the end, I'm at 90, which means we're right here on this profile which keep an eye at the end here it says it bumps up the core to 1.2 volts that's a lot so you gotta be careful please use this at your own risk nobody is liable son of a tech the gentleman who wrote this article myself we are not liable Igor who wrote this article we are not liable for any damage you cause to your GPUs or video cards this is just something that I've been waiting for this. So as soon as I got the 5700, I knew it was going to be locked. I didn't know that it was going to be such so locked that you can barely overclock anything. Or even if you did overclock, you were getting uh, mediocre gains. So I was waiting for some type of uh, uh, soft hack to kind of release those limits. And this is exactly what those uh, this you know does. So use this at your own risk. Um, you simply download the zip files for the recommended card you have. I haven't seen or heard of anybody using the ones for the 5700 XT on the anniversary edition those cards are roughly the same uh, the anniversary edition has a better clock probably has a better bin die or GPU die from the factory um, but I'd be interested to see if the uh, soft power uh, tables can actually optimize the anniversary edition that'd be kind of interesting but for mine I only got the 5700 it says that we only have three files but you can see in the folder uh, that we actually have four. Uh, so stock, a little bump up in power. This is the one with the 50 plus 50% 50 to the power limit. And then this one is the last one right here. So I'm going to play around, do some testing. But I wanted to tell you a couple things real quick. Uh, again, if you want the full-blown guide, check out Son of a Text video, which I'll have linked in the description. Uh, he does a really good job of explaining it, breaking down, how to install it, and all that good stuff. It's very simple, really. You reboot in the safe mode. You go to um, uh, launch DDU or display driver uninstaller. You're going to need to uninstall every GPU, and that includes if you have an AMD APU with integrated graphics, you need to uninstall that. If you have um, Intel integrated graphics, you need to uninstall that. I, what I did is I just went NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, clean, do not reboot until I made sure all of them were cleaned out then I rebooted the system installed the latest driver uh, from AMD and then I went to start 
type in reg and registry editor usually comes up file import and then I import the profile I want um, and that's pretty much it now I did have an issue with MSI afterburner even though I was doing it how you normally should uh, MSI afterburner would not let me overclock past a certain amount now you could use Wattman to bypass that um, but I wanted to play with both of them both Wattman and MSI afterburner so just simply uninstall MSI afterburner and reinstall it and you'll be able to see these settings because MSI Afterburner wouldn't let me get past the stock 1850 on the core or the stock 930 on the mem even though I had applied the registry edit or hack. Uh, so let me get some information together for you guys um, and I will be back in just a second. Alright guys my testing is done and I just want to go over some results. Uh, I will tell you that you do not want to use MSI Afterburner for overclocking uh, so much because there's no voltage control here at the top you can see there's no way to control the core voltage so you do want to use the AMD global wattman instead you just simply open it up come down here to frequency voltage which is set on automatic flip the switch and then you're able to drag this bar uh, and move the dots wherever you need to now peak wise um, I wouldn't push it past 1.3 uh, 1.2 is what the uh, registry uh, hack has it in it or what it has in the the readme notes uh, but 1.2 is a little bit uncomfortable for me uh, the most that I pushed it to was about 163 um, around 1. 6, yeah, 1. 1.6 yeah 1.16 1. 1.55 somewhere in there um, I got some pretty good numbers uh, but first Let's talk about the scores. So Time Spy got an 8853 with this registry mod. When stock, I was only getting 8437. GPU score is really where it, it matters. Um, so let's look at that real quick. So GPU score, uh, 8200 stock, and then 8649. So we got a pretty decent bump there. On Fire Strike Ultra, uh, 5878. Graphic score of 5846. That's on the mod. This is going to be on stock 5539. So uh, we went up quite a quite a couple hundred points, 300 points. So um, now, of course, based upon your application, uh, your results may vary, and each GPU is different. Uh, but off of PC Mag's uh, website, where I was looking for RTX 2060 comparison numbers, uh, 2060 Super. So 2060 Super on Time Spy got 8,497 we got 8,853 uh, the 2070 blew the doors off or at least the 2070 super did we're on par with the 2070 uh, the the original 2070 uh, we're on par or greater than both uh, the 20 RTX 2060 super and the regular 2060 but the RTX 2070 super is, is beating us and I'm pretty sure it's not using as much power. I can't validate that because I don't have a 2070 Super, but it's beating um, the AMD graphics card uh, with less power draw for, from what I've read and studied online. Now looking at the Fire Strike score, uh, where we hit 5878, we're beating the 2060 Super, the regular 2060, the regular 2070, and we're on par almost equal to the 2070 Super so based upon your application or what 3D application you're using or what game you're playing uh, with this registry mod you can see a significant gain in performance however uh, we gotta think about all aspects of it um, I was able to get a pretty decent score and uh, record it and I'm actually quite impressed with this card however you need to be extremely careful because you can damage your card so please use this at your own risk uh, I can't stress that enough when we look at the base so I started off with the first mod where we had uh, plus 50 uh, to the power limit and we reached a peak power draw of 173 an average of 162 the hottest temp on the GPU was 86 C uh, but average because I increased the fan speed I put it I think 70 yeah 70 um, I was sitting around 68 70 degrees Celsius 68 on average but then when we stepped it up a little bit more to where we were at one, one um, 
1920 core, 1.118 volts. Uh, we saw a peak power draw of 189, average of 175. The hottest spot on the GPU was 89C and average temp around 70C. Uh, and then when I took it one step further than that, uh, where we were at max uh, power limit, 90, uh, we saw a max power draw of 236. Uh, now average, what I saw with my eyes was around 200. Of course, uh, hardware info was uh, taking into account the dips and the time in between sessions and benchmark. Um, hottest spot on the GPU though got 93C, which is kind of uncomfortable. And then the average temperature um, was around 70, 72, somewhere in there as well. So you can push the RX 5700 to 2000 megahertz on the core. Memory, unfortunately, on my cards is bad. It's it, I, I just didn't win the lottery. Uh, maybe your card might be a little bit different. Of course, I'm running Unigen Heaven in the background, so the temps you see in the lower right-hand corner is stock fan curve, all that good stuff. You, these cards do run hot, which is why you need to set an aggressive fan curve if you don't mind the noise, or just wait for add and board partners, uh, which should be expected sometime in August, because the temps uh, should be a lot better, or at least more manageable. But this mod will definitely increase your performance. You're going to increase the amount of power draw, so make sure your power supply is good enough to support your system, including the power that this GPU pulls. Um, but be extra safe with it. I was able to hit 2020 on the core clock with a voltage of 1.185, uh, but I felt uncomfortable because the GPU, the hot, the junction temperature, or the hottest spot on the GPU was reaching 98C. Uh, average GPU temp though was only around 75, 77. So don't look at just the average um, GPU temp or the GPU temperature. You want to be paying attention to the hot spot temperature as well. Um, that adding voltage increases heat. You increase the heat. You wear out your components. You wear out your components. You kill your card. So play the game smart. Pay attention. What I like to do is run Unigen Heaven just like you see in the background and then keep an eye on the clocks and then slowly adjust things up using Wattman you can easily you know step it up bit by bit you can move this bullet point down or up based upon the voltage that you're looking for at the uh, megahertz you're looking for on the core and slide it back just little by little the max that this the the mod will do is right around 21 2100 megahertz at one point two two three so 1.22 on the core and that's a little bit uncomfortable for me it may be safe it may be negligible but I don't want to brick my card I want to ruin my card because uh, I still have some testing to do in the future so that's my data if you have issues um, installing or uh, when you add the registry mod and you open up MSI Afterburner and it's not doing anything, you can't pass a certain clock or anything like that, uninstall Afterburner, reinstall it and go from there. The full setup guide, again, is going to be linked in the description below. Son of a Tech did a really good job. Check out his video, um, which will also be linked in the description. The article uh, that you will have to translate with Google Translate will also be linked in the description below. But if you do do this mod, let me know your performance numbers, how you did. Send me a link. Um, if YouTube, com I'm pretty sure my YouTube comments allow links, but you know, if you post something on Hardware Bot or you know on the regular 3D Mark website, Hall of Fame, send me a link. I want to see your performance numbers. I'm interested to see what else can be accomplished with these cards and how far we can push it without breaking these things. So I'll play around. No need to make another video. My memory's a little bit junked up. Uh, see if I can't get a replacement card. But thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. And let me know your thoughts about this mod. We'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.